Welcome back to Cuisines and Cocktails. I'm your host, Chef James Jens from Dinners with Class. My wife and I, we lived in Colorado. We would have Sunday brunch on the ski hill where you'd have Bloody Marys and you'd have soup for lunch. That's what this whole episode is about. We're gonna show you a Bloody Mary cocktail and then we're gonna make three amazing soups. We're gonna make a bean and bacon, a tomato bisque with Parmesan crisps, and then we're gonna finish off with a vegetarian chowder. So let's make the cocktail. We're gonna start with tomato juice. Two shots of vodka. Some horseradish. A little bit of hot sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Fresh ground pepper. We're gonna put a little bit of lime juice in for a little bit of extra acidity. And while we have the lime out there, we're gonna also cut a disc for garnish. And we're just gonna shake it one time. Get it all mixed out, mix the boat. And if you have your favorite garnish, pickles, olives, other vegetables, go forth and conquer. So stick around, we're gonna have three soups to make and then we're gonna be able to have lunch. Welcome back and we're gonna start with the tomato bisque and we're gonna take some tomatoes, quarter of them, and we're going to roast them slightly. Helps bring out some of the sweetness of the tomatoes. And we're also gonna put on the same sheet tray, a white onion. And then while we put those in the oven, we will be able to make our Parmesan crisps to garnish the tomato bisque soup. And at the end, we're going to puree this so it looks like a smooth, pureed soup. <laughs> I guess it's pretty obvious if we're going to puree it. It's going to look like a pureed soup. Drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. Season with salt and pepper. And it'll be about 25-30 minutes in a 350 degree oven. You want to have a, just a little bit of uh, caramelized brown corners and the cut edges. And while that is doing its magic in the oven, we can do the Parmesan crisps. Parmesan crisps are the simplest garnish to make. It literally just takes aged Parmesan cheese in a hot pan, just a small amount of olive oil, let the cheese melt in the pan, and then flip it out. A little bit of olive oil. Some Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna put a little bit of basil in with the cheese. This is gonna be a nice little crunchy garnish for the tomato bisque. And we'll just let that, where you see on the pan you have, a, the cheese gets real thin and kind of bubbly. You want that to be all of the cheese. So if you have any thick spots, you can just flatten it out with a fork. And once it gets golden brown, it'll come off the pan by itself. And you can get it to flip once, get it nice and crispy. Alrighty. And that will work. It'll look kind of soft, but as it cools, it gets kind of like a cracker. So let's we'll just sit until we need it for 
the garnish of the soup. So next I'm going to kind of rearrange and then we'll start on the bean and bacon soup. So we're going to start working on the bean and bacon soup. We're going to take about four ounces of bacon, kind of quarter inch strips, and we're going to put it into a medium high heat saute pan, let the fat render, and while that's rendering, you can cut up onions and peppers. And with soup, I like to make sure everything is spoon size. So you don't have to try to figure out how to cut a piece of a soup so it fits on your spoon. Just gonna stir this bacon around. And again, soup is a great, um, if you live in cold climates and you like to go cross country skiing or an exercise group or something like that, soups are a great thing. You can, they actually get better with age you make a soup on a Monday and have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or whatever on Wednesday, it'll taste better than the day you make it because all the flavors get to meld together and, and be more in one with themselves. The bacon is almost rendered. Probably enough. You definitely have a little bit of the bacon fat on the bottom of the pan. So we're gonna add our peppers and onions. Rough chop some fresh cilantro. Give it kind of a southwest feel. I'm getting salt and pepper at this point. And we're gonna use a blend of black beans, pinto, cannellini, and butter beans. Trim the end off of the couple cloves of garlic. And I think I'm just gonna slice them. And as always, if you really like garlic, Put extra cloves in. If you don't like garlic, take them out. Alrighty. Since we're gonna make a soup, we don't have to be real overly concerned that we have a lot of real hard caramelization because we're going to cook it in the broth. So at this point, we can add the beans. And we're gonna use some beef broth as our base. We'll bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let that cook for 15, 20 minutes, and we'll see where the, the flavors end up, and if we need to adjust the seasoning, we can do that at that point. When we come back, we'll work on the vegetarian chowder and see how the tomatoes are doing. Welcome back. So we have the tomatoes and onions in the oven. We have the bean and bacon soup working. And now we're gonna work on the vegetarian chowder. And we're gonna start by putting a little bit of oil, olive oil, in a pan. We're gonna caramelize some quartered mushrooms. To that, we're gonna add some onion. We're gonna do both red and some yellow. What's gonna make this chowder a little interesting is we're gonna also, besides just having potatoes, we're also gonna add a sweet potato and to me a highly underused vegetable, fennel. I love the taste of fennel. It has a licorice flavor. It brightens up dishes. 
And when you cut a fennel, the inside, there's a little root right here that you want to cut out. This has a triangle. Um, it's very woody. And you can just cut it kind of like an onion around the circumference of the fennel. Turn it 90 degrees and do a cross cut. We have some celery. And you don't want to go too small on anything with soup because you're going to cook it down and it'll break down to something that's so small that it's unrecognizable. And again, we don't have to sweat it down so much that it breaks down the produce. You just want to get nice caramelization and some the vegetable fond on the bottom of the pan to help with the flavors. And we have a carrot I want to add. And all this scrap, this the trimmings and stuff of the vegetables, you could definitely turn into a vegetable broth to help make your next batch of soup. Or if you wanted to make chicken stock, you could add it to the chicken stock. And we're also gonna, so here's the soup potato. I find soup potato does a couple of things for this dish. It adds a little bit of sweetness and it also adds a nice kind of an earthy orange color along with the carrot. And we're also going to add some tofu. This chowder. And a couple of red potatoes. This is almost somewhere between a chowder and a stew, if you want to think of it like that. And we're going to add the potatoes and sweet potatoes. Give this one more stir. So we're going to let this caramelize in the pan for a few minutes. And then when we come back, we'll add some vegetable broth. Get the tomatoes out of the oven, work on the tomato bisque, and then in a few minutes we'll be able to kind of wrap up this edition of soups. So stay with us and we'll be right back. So just to recap where we're at, we have the bean and bacon soup, we got the vegetable um, chowder slash stew, and now we're going to I pull the tomatoes out of the oven and we're going to put that saute pan and kind of make the bisque. So in a saute pan, we're going to add the tomatoes and the onions. We're going to add a little bit of water just to give it some ability to make its own broth. And we're going to fortify the tomato flavor with some tomato paste. Probably two, maybe three tablespoons. We're going to add a little bit more fresh ground pepper and a little bit of salt. Bring up to a boil, let simmer for five to 10 minutes. Then we'll add the fresh basil, puree it, add a little bit of cream, and then we're going to be able to garnish with that nice Parmesan crisp that we made earlier. And then when we come back, we'll also put a bow on this episode and have time for lunch. So our tomato soup was boiling, turned down to a simmer, it's got a nice broken down tomatoes and onions and garlic. We're going to add that to the blender. And we're going to add about equal portion of heavy cream. And we're just going to blend it for a little bit. And we're going to add our fresh basil. And we'll just 
take a quick sample, make sure the seasoning is right. Need just a little bit of salt and pepper. One quick blend. And we are ready to serve this. So here's our first soup of the day. Creamy tomato bisque with the Parmesan crisps. Then we have our bean and bacon with cilantro. A little bit more of the broth. And we're gonna garnish this with some dry cojita cheese with cilantro mixed in, just to give it a little bit more of a Southwest Mexican flair. And then our final soup of the day is our vegetable chowder with tofu. There we go. So we have three soups for a great soup buffet or brunch or whatever you want to do. This is Chef James Jens from Dinners with Class on Cuisines and Cocktails, wishing you a great lunch.